Welcome to Carpinteria State Beach Campground. This is a spectacular place to kick back, unwind, recharge, and create some priceless memories. There are four campground areas, some with no hookups for tent camping, some with electric and water only, and then there's Santa Rosa Loop with full hookups, including sewer, which is where we opt to stay. It is a state campground, so yes, you have to wake up six months in advance at 8 a.m. and play the internet scramble on reservecalifornia.gov. But our group of campers, we always seem to get the spots that we want and have success. The spaces are super tight, but we managed to fit our 35-foot motorhome in a sweet little spot, number 348, right across from the beach. Love this spot because 347 right next to it was being used for maintenance. So they put their golf cart there and it really opened things up, made it feel like it wasn't so crammed. The sights up against the sand are primed, but shorter and about 25 feet of concrete in length, but allows maybe four to six feet of overhang on the sand. So really these spots are designed for 30 foot or less. Basically, if you got something that's over 30 feet, uh, you're gonna wanna measure from your wheelbase back. And if it's longer than 25 feet, uh, you should probably look for another spot somewhere else in the campground. They do have showers, restrooms, and overflow parking available as well. The town of Carpentria is only a short bike ride away and offers a quaint small town charm. Good food and shops are worth taking an afternoon to explore. For some reason each year, the guys from our group have made it a ritual to take the afternoon to eat at the local Thai restaurant and grab a few pints at the local brewery. There's also a trip on bikes with the kiddos to hit the local candy shop. There is a marsh and some tide pools that are worth checking out too. Eagle rays, leopard sharks, harbor seals, starfish, sea anemones, all sorts of ocean life can be seen throughout the area. The Spanish named this area Carpentria because the Chumash tribe that originally occupied the land had created a huge seagoing canoe enterprise or carpentry shop. They use a naturally occurring surface tar to waterproof the canoes. Well, this surface tar still exists and it's something we've had to deal with a bit. The kids come back from playing in the surf and get spots of tar on their feet and swimsuits. Not a big deal, but make sure to bring some baby oil to help make it easier to get this tar off of your skin. It'll really help cut down on the mess. No dogs allowed on the beach past 10 or 15 feet from the beachfront campgrounds. But bring your pup because there's plenty of places to still walk and take your buddy on adventures. There are campfire pits at most spots, at least in the Santa Rosa loop, so bring firewood to enjoy at night. If you're looking to rent an RV, there is only one outfit that is permitted to deliver an RV to the park. 101 RV Rental Concessions. You can reach them at 805-210-7391. Hey look, Carpentry is a great spot and we plan on coming here for years. The kids love riding their bikes, playing on the sand, going out into the ocean and playing in the surf. The parents like hanging out on the beach, having a cocktail oh, yeah. and just enjoying this beautiful ocean. Really a great spot. Come on out to Carpinteria State Beach Campground. Make your reservations well in advance. Santa Rosa Loop if you want the full hookups and enjoy this wonderful California coast.